Thank you. Uh, this study was uh, led by uh, David Orsted. I'm the second author of this. Um, associations of benign prostate hyperplasia with prostate cancer incidence and mortality. How do you switch further? Right, um, so benign prostate hyperplasia is a very frequent uh, condition in, uh, in men in the affluent uh, world. Uh, about 70% of men above 70 years of age have this condition, and we ask ourselves whether uh, it is associated with prostate cancer and with prostate cancer death. The two uh, conditions or diseases have several things in common. They're both dependent on, on uh, hormonal uh, um, signals to, to, to grow, but they are also different uh, in the way that the hyperplasia is located mainly around the urethra and the uh, cancer is located more peripheral. <clears throat> so we made a nationwide uh, association study uh, including all Danish men from 1980 to 2006. Using the Danish uh, health registries uh, we were able to make uh, um, studies on individual uh, participant data. So we had around 300, uh, 3 million uh, men um, and we ascertained the benign uh, prostate hyperplasia in different ways. Either the men were hospitalized uh, with the uh, condition, uh, around 200,000 men, or they were operated on for uh, benign prostate hyperplasia, uh, 78,000 um, men, and we had 2.8 uh, million controls. In the whole period we had uh, 53,000 um, cases of prostate cancer and 25,000 uh, cases of prostate cancer death. So this is uh, the overall uh, picture. On the y-axis you have the cumulative incidence of prostate cancer as a function of um, age in years. The red line represents the men who were hospitalized with benign prostate hyperplasia and uh, the blue line represents the general population controls. And we see that the men with benign prostate hyperplasia have a 2.2 uh, risk of a forward risk of developing uh, prostate cancer compared to the uh, controls and this was uh, highly significant, P less than 10 to the minus 300. Because um, diagnosis of benign prostate hyperplasia could affect the ascertainment of prostate cancer, we also looked upon uh, prostate cancer death, which is less prone to be influenced by uh, uh, ascertainment due to uh, PSA measurements. So uh, here we have the general populations controls with the hazard ratio of one. For men hospitalized for benign prostate hyperplasia, they have a hazard ratio of prostate cancer death of about two, and the men who were operated on for BPH had a hazard ratio of about eight, with very narrow confidence intervals as shown here. So our conclusions were that benign prostate uh, um, hyperplasia is associated with increased risk of prostate cancer and increased risk of prostate cancer death. This association is done on an epidemiological uh, study and cannot infer any uh, causality. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. And